I have an encouragement for those of you who are my age or older. Many of you, male and female, have been stifled and hushed by the body of Christ, especially within the congregation arena. And I'm saying to you right now, ask God for witty, creative ways for you to reach the world. Because while they're having church, God can raise you up and use you as part of the revival, part of the end time harvest. Some of you may have to use your cell phones. Some of you may have to grab a camera and have one of your grandkids get you online, start a YouTube channel for you. Start asking God all the different ways he can use you. Don't wait to mount a pulpit. Some of you will never get there. But God will use you in much greater ways if you're willing. In Isaiah 6, God asked Isaiah, the angel spoke and said, who shall, who shall we send? Who will go for us? And Isaiah said, use me, Lord. I'll go. Will you say that to God? Use me, Lord. I'll go. Use me, Lord, I'll go into the prisons. Use me, Lord, I'll go into the convalescent home. Use me, Lord, I'll go online and sit in front of Facebook or YouTube. Use me, Lord, I'll go in the library, wherever you send me. Send me and I'll go. God bless you. Some of you may start churches right in a restaurant. You'd be shocked. One lady I saw online has opened up a number of cafes. Her cafes are her congregations. Saved and unsaved alike come in. And they receive prayer for healing. They receive prayer for salvation. They sit and listen at times to words of encouragement. God created this world and there is no set routine that we must be locked in to win the world. We must allow our minds to grow and expand and allow God to use us any way possible, by any means possible. Step out. Step out in the name of Jesus and let God use you to his glory. And may God anoint you richly with miracle working power to win this end days harvest. God bless you.